one thing we were confident about is that we really do build ahead of the curve. I mean, we build, you know, through for anticipated demand over a long arc. And I think that's something people should remember as we uh, implement uh, these new programs and new build projects, because that's an important part of resiliency, whether you're really running ahead of the curve. And fortunately, we were running ahead of the curve. The industry had just finished essentially deploying one gig to almost its entire footprint, or was very close to having completed that build. So fortunately for America, and fortunately for us, we probably had the highest capacity networks we had ever had that had just come online uh, on the network and were ready to handle the catastrophe. A huge shout out to CTOs. The other thing I said is we should be transparent. You know, we're gonna be Americans before we're private companies and we have to keep this thing working and we should be honest about where the problems are. Uh, we asked the CTOs to stand up a dashboard in which we would publicly record every single week what the congestion demands are, what the problems were, what the issues were. One of the things that did too is it held us accountable to the problems, right? That we weren't gonna hide them, we were gonna admit them uh, and make sure that we were rapidly responding um, to network congestion on nodes. Uh, I think it's a reminder that this, th these aren't garden hoses that you dig a hole in the ground, drop the hose, and you're never gonna worry about it again. It takes a massive amount of daily management to keep these networks viable, functioning, reliable, and more importantly, when something goes wrong, to be able to rapidly uh, repair it. You know, we learned that the, having the capacity to surge quickly uh, to fix congestive nodes was important. 